Hey guys, so I know I always say that the Tatum wig by Amore is my favorite wig, and here is proof. If you watch my wig reviews, then you probably know that I already have a Tatum wig review, and that one was in the color Strawberry Swirl. But if you look at this, about like, what, seven months later, I got another one. <laughs> Because no matter what, I, I love trying new wigs and trying long styles, short styles, curly styles, but the Tatum wig will always be my favorite wig because it's just so good for like go-to everyday wear. For a little while I started to wear like longer wigs consistently, which was fun and it was really like glamorous to have nice long silky hair, but I couldn't really just get up in the morning and throw on the Stevie or the Madeline like I can with the Tatum. The Tatum I can just put on my head and know that it looks good without even having to look in the mirror and that's why I love this wig more than any other wig that I've ever owned. Another style that's sort of like that for me is the Cody. And the Cody, again, if you watch my videos, and you might already know this, but the Cody wig I wore consistently for about like five or six years of my life straight. Every five, four to six months, I would buy a new Cody in the same color, same style, same color, and everything. Because at the time, I didn't tell people that I wore wigs. I kind of like pretended that one wig was my real hair. So for a time, I did that with the Cody in blonde colors. So. That was like what I considered my hair and what I would tell people was my hair and no one really knew that I wore wigs. And then when I went to college, I started doing that with the Tatum instead of the Cody. It's just such a good wig for everyday wear because you don't have to do anything to manage it. It's just so silky and so smooth and so pretty and manageable. It's just so nice. Last time I bought this wig, I did buy it in Strawberry Swirl because I just kind of wanted to try a new color. i had been doing dark chocolate, which is what this is for a couple years, maybe like two years. And I just kind of wanted to try something new, so I went with Strawberry Swirl. And it was a very pretty wig. If you haven't seen that review, you can click the link over here. That will go into more detail about like the construction of the wig and all that good stuff. But this video is just like me enthusing about the Tatum because I really, really do like it. And again, I liked the Strawberry Swirl color and that was fun to try out for a while. But at the like after a couple of months of having it, I just really started to miss it in dark chocolate because I don't know why. Since I've just worn this for so long, it just feels so me. I just really like it. It's very natural looking, it's very smooth. Whereas the Strawberry Swirl does kind of look a little bit more like dyed hair, which is also a beautiful look and very glamorous. Looks like you just got back from the salon and got new highlights in, but this is just very natural. So I've had this Tatum for about a week now, so it is very, very new. It's still very flowy. And I always say in a lot of videos that when you first get a wig, you kind of have to break them in because they can always be really poofy at first, but then once you wear them for a week, it looks a lot more natural because it falls. But the Tatum is one of the few wigs that I've had that instantly just looks ready to wear. Like, I swear to you, the morning of the day I got it, I was just about to leave for class, I was so ready, I had like 10 minutes to walk to class and that was it, and I noticed that the package came in the mail, I just opened it up, took it out of the package, put it on my head, went to class, and <laughs> didn't even like worry that it would look unnatural because I know the Tatum always just looks natural. And on top of that, I feel like the Tatum also just matches a lot of people's head shapes. I feel like it's just a very universal, simple style. I'll give you a full 360 to show you what it looks all the way around. So it's very even all the way around and the bangs are even and straight across. That's what they look like pushed forward. So it's very nice to wear as a straight bang if you like that look, which I kind of do sometimes. Um, they are a little bit long for that right now, so I might have to trim them. I can even like pull it back a little. I don't want to wear them as straight bangs, but I also love the look of them as a side bang, because that's just so easy to do. You don't have to worry about like cutting it or anything. It's just so cute like that as well. And you know what's funny? I normally don't like wearing red lipstick, but when I'm wearing it with a dark brunette color, I think it looks so much better on me than when I wear it with my blondes. I just I don't like that look for some reason. I don't know. What do you guys think? I feel like I just look better in the color dark chocolate than I do in Strawberry Swirl. Strawberry Swirl is a very pretty color, but I think that it's a harder color to match all skin tones, whereas for me, I think dark chocolate just matches anyone's skin tone. Whether you're super pale like me or you're like darker skin tone, I think it's just a very universal, easy color. <laughs> whereas the blondes, I feel like you have to like play around with them a little bit more and kind of try out different colors before you can find the blonde for you. Brunette is so much easier because it's just like brown <laughs> and it looks fine with whatever skin tone. So before I close out, another thing I love about the Tatum is how silky it is when you first get it. You can really style it a lot more when it's brand new. So when I first get it for the first couple weeks, I wear it in a ponytail all the time because it looks so cute in a ponytail. It's just so soft and pretty. I'll even put in pictures of different ways you can style it. I like it in like pigtails, I like it in a ponytail, and 
Like, I don't know, you can't really do braids because it's too short, but you can put like clips in it, and so many things look pretty in the Tatum style. Alright, so let me know in the comments below what you think of this wig. Let me know what you think looks better, me in this dark chocolate color, or did you like the strawberry swirl when I had that? I think they're both pretty, and I still have the other Tatum and strawberry swirl. It is a little bit older now, so it's starting to get a little rattier, but I think once I trim that a little bit, it'll be more wearable and it'll look new, and, and I think both are still usable. I just like switching between them now. Almost forgot to mention, it's also a monofilament wig cap, which means the top of it is very natural looking, so you really don't have to worry about anyone looking at you and thinking, oh my god, is that girl wearing a wig? Like, first of all, if, if someone does ask you that, don't be freaked out, because if you're wearing a wig, it shouldn't be a big deal, it doesn't matter, it's just like a weird societal like construct <laughs> that like wearing a wig is a problem it doesn't really it's not you should it's not, it's not something you should be ashamed of it's not a problem but I mean like you don't really have to worry about that with this wig cap it's very 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 natural looking okay so let me know in the comments below what you think hit subscribe and hit thumbs up and all that good stuff if you want to see more wig reviews and stuff like that and thank you guys so much for watching I will see you in the next video